T-Mobile would go up and Lance would pretend like he would go down the climb and then go up again, pass Ulrich. And uh, Ulrich would think, wow, he's doing this twice. And um, we have been waiting there for about half an hour behind the corner because you could see them coming. And finally they, they, they didn't show up. They didn't show up. And later I found out that uh, T-Mobile and Ulrich decided to take a shortcut because they were going to miss their plane. And uh, basically there already we knew that we had won the tour because they didn't, they didn't do their homework. They preferred to go home and, and make sure that they, they catch the plane. And uh, we, we were still there and, and trying to do whatever, whatever we, we could to win the tour. And it was not only training, but it was also a mental game. And uh, we, we were pretty good at mental games. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was the thing I remember was just, my God, hanging up the phone just laughing, going, these guys are just mind whipping <laughs> this poor German. Yeah. And you have the two schemingest, most obsessive, focused guys in the world, and I'm like, well, this one's over again. So, um, okay. Who has questions for Johan? Yeah. This year is your uh, last minute preparation. Seem to be a last minute. Like half the teams on the beach. Yeah. Not half the team, but at least one guy. Yeah. <laughs> How difficult was that to shift gears into something that you planned on and win that race? Yeah. It was difficult because we didn't count on it at all, and um, basically we had to prepare a whole team. First of all, select the team. We didn't, we didn't even think about who was going. Uh, and then logistically it was very difficult because we had to select the staff and arrange all the travel. And basically we had to do it in, uh, normally you do this in a few months, we did it in 10 hours. Uh, we got the call on Friday and on Wednesday everybody had to be in Sicily. Um, but um, I think we, 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 were, we have showed, we showed the quality of our team by staying patient. Uh, I knew that the only chance we had was just show up at the start and just not taking care of the race, just be in there day by day by day and, and let Contador just grow into the race. And uh, finally that's what happened. And of course you need some luck because uh, there were was, there was some opportunities for the rivals to really take some time out of Contador in the first week, but they didn't do that. And uh, I knew that once we, we came to the time trial uh, and he, did, he, he got second place that uh, our chances were very, very big because by then we had the team very solid around the leader and, uh, and the focus was really on winning them. And from there on, I, uh, once he took the jersey, it was definitely a difficult Giro and not what we were used to because normally uh, a guy like Contador, he, he has to make a difference in the mountains and now he, he just had to try to follow because he was the better time trialist. But um, those kind of victories, which are difficult, and I, I recall a certain victory in 2003 with Lance, which was very, very close. That's, uh, that's the kind of victories that really have a very sweet taste. So uh, very proud of the, of the Tour of Italy and probably what we needed to, uh, to show everybody that uh, we, have, we have a great team, we have great riders, and no matter what they try to do to avoid our success, we are there. You know, with that in mind, um, so what was probably the biggest challenge for you leading somebody off a team? Who was that person and, and why was that? Um, there's, there's, there's a lot of moments like that. And after a lot of years, you get used to it. But I remember one very special moment, my first year, when everything was new for me and uh, I, had, I had to select the first Tour de France team. And um, we had an American rider on the team, his name was Marty Jameson, and he was the American champion. And I decided that Marty was not the ideal rider for the Tour de France team. And it was not a very, a very easy decision because a national champion normally belongs in the Tour de France team, especially if you have an American sponsor. And on top of that, I was completely new to the game and uh, I hadn't proven anything. So it, it cost me a lot of uh, persuasion to, to really tell my sponsors and tell the, especially the American press, that the American champion was not going to the Tour. 
And I remember, I, mean, I, I thought about four or five days and nights, I was awake and I couldn't, uh, couldn't really tell him. And ultimately I, I had to do it. And uh, he was very upset. But after, after that and after we won the tour, we had a good conversation about it. And uh, it was definitely one of the most difficult decisions I had to make. Other questions? Behind the thing, <laughs> your hand up. Come closer so I hear you. So is there going to be any prayer that the slot is going to be the tour? Uh, I think it's over. And, um, you know, we, we know it from the beginning of the season and we have, we have tried to focus on other, other races. 